the uh, the nature of the crime, most of it um, focuses around count one, which is the conspiracy to commit grand theft, and a large portion of that has to do with certain monies that were either paid to companies controlled by uh, Spencer um, and indirectly Luciano, or debts that were forgiven. Um, so it's a combination of those two things that uh, count one really focuses upon. Does that answer your question? Mm -hmm. okay. and what, for those who aren't familiar, what, is, what, is, what was that money supposed to be used for? It depended on which part of the money you're talking about. Um, it probably would be inappropriate for me to go into the facts of the case and public foreman for more than one, one reason. Um, but there are various amounts of money that um, constitute the sum total that we're talking about that was exceeded $1 million. Could you give a generic description of what the money was for, buying airplanes, equipment, uh, anything like contracts? It, it dealt with um, a specific airplane and some the use of some space at the airport. That's about as much as I can tell you. Where is Luciano based? What, uh, where do you focus the uh, attention on? Physically? Yes. Uh, well, I believe he's outside of California right now. I don't know that for certain. Um, and all I can tell you for certain is that Scott Spencer is in custody in Florida right now, being arrested yesterday. Uh, and I know that Luciano is outside of California, but I don't want to talk about too much just in case it might inhibit efforts to uh, apprehend him. Why, why the conspiracy to commit grand theft, not grand theft? That's actually sort of a legal question that may play out in the courtroom. How many of these uh, companies that Scott Spencer, as you know, Scott Spencer, they uh, started up uh, more than a dozen uh, LLCs and corporations. How many of these, uh, are these all tied to this uh, conspiracy? There are a number of companies involved. It uh, is more than two, I will tell you that. Um, and those companies um, are the basis of the connection with Mr. Luciano. Are there still assets? I can't answer that at this time. Could you disclose which specific companies uh, Mr. Luciano is tied to? Uh, I think that's too fact specific for me to talk about it right now. Excuse me. How was this? Why was the decision made to file in uh, Superior Court instead of Federal Court? The crimes that are charged are all state crimes. Um, there could be potential overlap with a federal case, but uh, in this particular instance, all the crimes that we're talking about, it made sense to charge them here. Is the U.S. Attorney's Office considering further charges related to this investigation? As I stand here before you today, I'm only speaking as a representative of the District Attorney's Office. I can't speak for them right now. Can I, can uh, let, me, let me follow up to that question, too. I think, you know, I think as the elected District Attorney, and I've said this to the citizens, when I can, I think it's our responsibility to hold people responsible that commit crimes in San Bernardino County. Now, in saying that, our partnership with the federal government is outstanding. And if there are federal crimes that go along with the same, same types of charges or even more, then I think that's going to be even better for the citizens of this county. But I do, I do believe it's our, our role and responsibility. Just, just to be clear, the money that, like, that's involved in this conspiracy to commit grand theft is public. What kind of, where, what's the source of the money? Is it public funds? Is it, what's it, the money that was? Basically, we can say it came from public funds, right? Yes, at least. Some yes. Of some of it did come from public funds. From the airport authority. From the airport authority. And not, right. not the Devel Development Authority. The Airport Authority. Airport Authority. Mm -hmm. Mr. Ramos, yes. any possibility that local officials were involved in this? That they uh, had knowledge of anything? I, there's an ongoing investigation, so I can't discuss anything about any anything further than what we've talked about today. Can you talk about the general time frame, how long this was going on, how long of a conspiracy this uh, was being committed by uh, Mr. Spencer? And I think that's actually in the complaint, Count right? Count one has the dates. The count, what is that approximately? You, you have that, Amron. Mr. Ramos, when you were talking before, it made it sound like you didn't think that some of the elected officials that had oversight were involved in any sort of conspiracy, that they were kind of duped. I mean, do you believe that? Do you think they were, do you think there's any criminal responsibility there? I mean, I just want to be clear sure. that there's no insinuation that maybe they could be arrested or they're under investigation. Could you clarify that? I can only say to you this that the individuals uh, that took took on these, these roles and responsibilities did it for the purpose of turning that airport around. As far as any criminal investigation or anything of that nature, I can't respond to that question. 